CIS control number nine discusses the importance of managing, tracking, controlling, and correcting the operational use of ports, protocols, and services on network devices. Attackers search for remotely accessible network services that are vulnerable to exploitation. Common examples include poorly configured web servers, mail servers, file and print servers, and DNS servers installed by default on a variety of different devices. Very often, these services are installed for personal reasons rather than business ones, exposing your company's data for no good reason. Many software packages automatically install these services and turn them on as part of the installation process without informing the user or administrator that the services have been enabled. Attackers scan for such services, attempting to exploit default user IDs and passwords or widely available exploitation code. So what can you do? Ensure that only network ports, protocols, and services with validated business needs are running on each system. Perform automated port scans on a regular basis against all systems and alert if unauthorized ports are detected on a system. And finally, apply host-based firewalls or port filtering tools on end systems with a default deny rule. Contact OCD Tech today with any questions and to find out more about the Center for Internet Security Top 20 Critical Security Controls.